You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, B&B fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have a comings and goings update for you, specifically about Ashley Brewer as Ivy Forster, some brand new info about her debut date, what's going on with her, what she's going to be doing, and some other interesting casting news as well about a couple of guest roles. But before we dive in, please click subscribe if you haven't already. So starting on Friday, April 26th and continuing over on to Monday, April 29th, we have special guest star Clint Howard, brother of famous director Ron Howard. He is going to be Homeless Tom, who gives Deacon Sharp and Dr. Finn a lead on where to find the not-so-dead Sheila Carter. I'm betting it's a pretty good lead since they gave him two episodes of appearances and not just a one-off drive-by cameo for a single episode. There's also another person doing a guest spot who will be interacting with Deacon and Finn. And this person is related to one of the two actors that play those roles. We're going to get to meet the stepdaughter of Sean Kanan, who, of course, plays Deacon. And his stepdaughter's name is Juliet Vega. And she is playing a character named Michelle, who's named after her real life mom, Sean's wife, Michelle Kanan, who is a writer and producer, I believe. She's got like a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. She's pretty cool. So if you already saw, the Friday, April 26th episode of Bold. When you're seeing this, you should have seen Kanan's stepdaughter. She was in some of the scenes where Deacon and Finn are out looking for Sheila Carter. They're in that area where the homeless encampment is, like where Clint Howard's character Tom is. So I don't know at the time that I made this video exactly what she's going to be doing. So you may have seen it before you listen to this video. So speaking of Sheila, we got to wonder how long until we get Kimberlyn Brown back on our screens live and in person rather than photos of her at her memorial and on Deacon's cell phone and then those photos of Janet Weber aka Sugar. So <clears throat> clearly her son and her lover are still searching for her next week, but they could drag this out and it could absolutely be not until the middle of sweeps before we find out Sheila Carter's fate, where she's being held, if she's in danger because she was left locked up somewhere while her captor Sugar went and got herself stabbed to death by Steffi Forster. I am very worried about what kind of conditions they're going to find Sheila in because clearly Sugar didn't go to Steffi's planning to die. She thought she was going to come back. So, you know, she may have left her a granola bar and half of a Mountain Dew. We just don't know. We'll find out soon. Now, let's talk about the latest on Ivy Forrester. We're going to get our first glimpse of her returning on Tuesday, April 30th. And it has been a minute since we last saw Ashley Brewer on Bold and the Beautiful. If you don't remember, it was February of 2018. So it has been more than six Six years since she has been around and there's been no confirmation of how long she's going to stay other than it is more than a few episodes, but more than a few episodes can turn into years, just depending on the ratings and the audience response, or it could be just literally a few episodes, but it seems like a big deal. So I'm hoping we get her to stay for a little bit. At least through sweeps, it would be great to have her for a few months or longer. I always liked her. And now we got some new information in addition to her debut date on Tuesday. Here's information about what her character has been doing. Ivy Forster has been down in her native Australia working on her own jewelry line and her own line of clothing under her own brand. So I don't know if that's going to be an Ivy Forster brand or just Ivy, you know, one word like Madonna. So she is back to L.A. trying to figure out what she wants, 
where she wants to be, what inspires her, and of course, who she wants to be with. And the last time we saw her on B&B, she was still crushing on Liam Spencer, who, by the way, you know, is single right now since Steffi isn't giving him the time of day. He doesn't seem to want hope. Hope doesn't seem to want him. So Liam's single as a Pringle. And the latest info says Ivy is looking for a fresh start after a couple of relationships that didn't go well. And of course, this week on Bold and the Beautiful, we finally got a Thomas and Douglas Forrester name drop. That's a big deal. Ridge Forrester cropped up fresh off a trip to Europe where he spent time with his son and his grandson. And he got somebody's name on the dotted line for some kind of distribution deal that got Brooke all excited. And he mentioned that Thomas was doing well and that Douglas was really embracing life in Europe. However, he also said Douglas really missed Hope and then Brooke chimed in saying she knows her daughter misses Douglas also. That to me is another sign that they are definitely bringing back Thomas and his son probably during May sweeps. So just based on how the storylines are developing right now, I feel like this week and next week, we're going to have a lot of RJ, Luna, Zenday, and of course, Finn and Deacon out on their Sheila hunting safari. Then Tuesday, we get Ivy dropped into the mix. Maybe something to do with Liam. Clearly something to do with Forrester Creations. Maybe she'll work for Hope for the Future. I don't know. Especially with the team kind of falling apart with the whole RJ and Zenday and Luna mess. And because the new info says she has been in Australia working on her fashion lines, um, a lot of people think that precludes any involvement between her and Thomas. Mm, well... Maybe, maybe not. I think it'd be really interesting if Ivy did decide to pursue him since she once had a real big crush on him. So it may not be that she was in his orbit overseas, but maybe they both come back to LA at the same time and we see if she's crushing on Liam or him. But, you know, it could be they've brought back Ivy to chase Liam once again. <sighs> then again, I feel like Finn and Deacon finding Sheila is going to mess up Steffi's marriage, possibly opening the door for Liam to creep in. So, of course, we're not certain yet what they're planning for Ivy or if she's even going to be on long enough to have a romantic relationship. And the only other single guy kicking around on B&B right now would be Zenday Forster. And I know they have the same last name, but they don't share any blood relations. And of course, Bill Spencer is single, but he's been seeing drug mint addict Poppy Nazel although we haven't gotten any scenes with them in quite some time. So after Ivy shows up and Finn and Deacon find Sheila and Zenday gets crapped on by the rest of the Foresters, I feel like at that point, probably later in sweeps, we'll finally get some Thomas and Douglas action. I don't see Hope getting close to Liam again. I definitely am not feeling any kind of vibe between Hope and Finn. And to me, that means she and Thomas are likely going to reconcile. But we have to wait till deeper into sweeps to find out exactly what happened happens for them. So we'll have to wait and see. Lauren Fenmore has gone back to Genoa City. There's a chance she may come back when it's confirmed Sheila is alive and Sugar is dead. I know a lot of fans that watch both YNR and b and were really hoping to see Sheila and Lauren in new scenes together. Heck, I wouldn't mind seeing that myself. All right, that's all the casting news we have for you today. Please click subscribe if you haven't. Definitely drop your comments and come back soon because we're here talking Bold and the Beautiful seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 